let it go I've been trying to find something as incredible as you and I But that's a never know, feeling can't compare to you You just gotta let me know to Music Monday at www.poeticexpressions.com. Thanks to those who have subscribed to the YouTube channel. And if you haven't already done so, make sure you do that before you finish watching the end of this video. You all may remember, remember last week's post on Labyrinth. It was called Beneath the Beautiful about his EP, Beneath Your Beautiful. And now I'm returning and talking about another EP, another artist this week, uh, Janae Ayako. And you've heard her on various rap songs. You've heard her do songs with Drake, J. Cole. She was also featured on Big Sean's Beware with Lil Wayne. And now she's come out with a new mixtape that's called Sell Out. And it's an EP. has about seven tracks on it. You can get it on iTunes. It's only about, I think, six or seven dollars is what I paid for it. But I will say her music is very interesting. She has a real mellow vibe. Uh, something you can definitely, you know, even go to sleep to, I would say. Uh, not to say that her music is boring by any means, but I will say as far as her vibe and her music goes, she reminds me a lot of The Weeknd, and I'd really like to see them do a song together, so hopefully that's in the works soon. And she was supposed to release her debut album at the end of this year. Not sure if that's still going to happen, especially with the release of this uh, new EP, but uh, hopefully we'll be getting it at the top of the year at the latest, and it's set to be titled Sold Out. So... Just interested to see what you think about uh, Janae as an artist um, and just as a writer. She writes a lot of her own songs, produces a lot of her own music, which I think is really cool. And another interesting twist about her is that she's signed to Def Jam, but it's a part of No ID's label, the producer of No ID. He did a lot of work on Jay-Z's Blueprint 3 album. He's also done a lot of work with a lot of other hip-hop artists. And she actually raps a little bit too on this EP. She does a little bit of, I guess you could say, rap singing uh, in, a, in a sense. And she's rumored to also be dating Drake. So that's interesting, um, especially if they end up doing some more things together musically. And if you haven't gotten a chance to check out her new music video for the song The Worst on her new EP, it's very disturbing and interesting. <laughs> I'll say that. So make sure you check that out. It's a really good video, though. Um, I think it's interesting that a lot of days, or a lot of videos nowadays, don't have uh, necessarily big budgets or anything like maybe we see in some uh, really expensive-looking videos, but it's still produced a quality video. And she also has a music video for the song Bad Peace, which is also on sale out with Childish Gambino. Uh, Kendrick Lamar is also featured on the EP. And then the very last song on there, really cool. It's a freestyle. It's called Comfort In Ending, uh, which is really nice on there as well. So you really, you can play the EP pretty much from start to finish. I like all of the songs on there. So make sure you let me know what your thoughts are about Janae Aiko and about her music and if you'll be checking for her new album whenever it's released. Also, Eddie Murphy is back singing again. You may remember that he had a hit back in I don't know when that was, 87 or so. He had a song. It actually went number one, too. Um, but, you know, he definitely decided to stick with his day job, which is telling jokes and being in movies, which was a good choice. But he's come back again. A new song called Red Light, which actually features Snoop Lion. In case for those of y'all who don't know, Snoop Lion is the same person as Snoop Doggy Dog, same person as Snoop Dogg. But now he's got this new reggae vibe in the last maybe I guess two years or so and he's referring to himself as Snoop Lion so the song itself that Eddie Murphy is doing is it does kind of have like a reggae vibe to it um, and Snoop Lion is featured on it and they talked about this too on uh, Arsenio Hall show for those who don't know he's back again and so Arsenio Hall and Eddie Murphy reunited uh, they had some beef I think back in the day but now they patched it up and put that behind them. And there's also talk that 
Eddie Murphy, I believe he even wrote a song for Rick James back in the day. So, you know, who knew that he was, you know, writing number one hits for himself and then also for other artists as well. So make sure you check that post out too and let me know your thoughts on that. And thanks for tuning in to Music Monday and see you all in two weeks. Tell me what you say now. Tell me what you say. Come again.